Hi, I'm Tyler Ballhorn, founder of StockScores.com. I've been a professional stock trader for about 30 years now. A lot has changed over those 30 years. Some things are very much still the same. The market is still governed by fear and greed and the spread of information to investors is not always fair. Now what has changed is the influence of computers on the stock market. The market moves much quicker and it is much more difficult today for the individual trader to beat the computer. And really, in order to beat the computer, we have to use the computer. And that is what the active live service at Stock Scores is all about. Over a number of years, I've developed an algorithm and a process using very specialized trading software to identify opportunities before most people do. And the service that I make available is to allow you, the subscriber, to view my analysis screen. It's all automated, it's entirely driven by a computer, but it is doing complex calculations on the entire US stock market every second, looking for stocks that are moving quickly. And it is this technology that levels the playing field for individual traders to really compete with the computers. I hope that you'll enjoy using this service. What I wanna do in this video is give you a little bit of an overview of how it works so that you can get the most out of it. So active live day trader alerts, what is it? Well, really what you're doing is seeing and hearing real-time trade alerts for the entire US stock market. Now you are watching my screen as it runs my day trading algorithm. You are logging into a webinar which has me broadcasting what my analysis is doing at that moment. It's all done in real time. And to help you, I provide commentary to guide you through the day. And we'll talk a little bit more about the schedule of how we do that in a moment. There's also a daily discussion of the previous day's trades swing trading ideas, which is actually holding stocks for more than just a day trade, sometimes for days or weeks. And we do a little bit of strategy optimization. Because my trading strategy is an algorithm and it is automated, we can test it inside a computer to optimize it. Now this strategy performance is tracked and optimized constantly so that we can really maximize our profit. So the schedule is as follows. Five minutes before the market opens, I do a quick morning briefing on my outlook for the open. I give you some sense of whether you should be focused on buying or short selling and what kind of trading setups you should look for. It's very helpful for those who are still gathering experience in their trading career. Now 9.30 till 10 is the busiest time of the trading day. It is when most of my trade signals are identified. And for some who can only trade a little bit of the day, it is the time when you will take most of your trades. So from 9.30 till 10, I walk you through that busy opening half an hour with my commentary on where I see the best potential, what I see market direction is, and some education on trading tactics. Now for the entire day, the automated processes on my analysis screen, which I'm gonna show you in a moment, will identify stocks meeting the rules of my strategy. In the final half an hour, I do my end of day analysis. I review the performance of that day, and I also take questions and provide my answers. So before we get into how this all works, something I need to explain to you, it's quite important, and that is the concept of reward for risk, because that's how I measure performance. Now risk is the difference between the close of the entry candle, which I call the action candle, and I'll show this on a chart in just a moment, and the low of the action candle, and it's upside down if you're short selling. The reward is the multiple of that difference, and again, this will make a little more sense when I show you on a chart. Now we size our positions based upon what our risk tolerance is divided by the risk of the trade. Now we don't necessarily use a stop loss point at the risk number 
because our strategy dictates that sometimes we take a loss that is a multiple of the risk number. Now in the active live screen that I'm going to show you in a moment, we use a $100 risk for each trade and performance is tracked for every trade signal. Now I know at this point you're probably saying, I don't understand what the heck you just said. Let me show you visually. So this is an example of a stock that I actually traded on the day that I'm making this video. And the action candle, which is our core indicator for my strategy, occurred right at that circle. You can probably just barely see there's a little pink dot on the chart right there. And that is my action candle. Now an action candle occurs when there is an abnormal price move with abnormal volume on a two minute chart. Now we can use action candles on any time frame. We can use them on a 13 minute time frame for swing trading. We can use them on a daily time frame for longer term position trading. But for day trading, the computer is going to look for action candles on any stock on the US stock market in a two minute interval. So it's very short term, but it helps us to get into hot stocks early before most people figure it out. We always want to beat the crowd. All right, so in this case, the action candle close was right there at $22.03. And the low of the action candle was right there at $21.56. So the risk is the difference between those two prices. The reward is the multiple of that same space. And so you can see these lines have been automatically drawn on the chart and each one is a multiple of risk. So at this point in the trading day right here, we had hit a four times risk amount. So we call that a four RR gain. This stock ultimately went up to here, which was just under 10 times its risk. Now we're going to get a little more sophisticated here. In the case where a trader was willing to risk $100 on the trade or size their position, based on $100 of risk. At this point, the stock was making nine times risk, which meant it was making $900 for every $100 of risk. Now, I want to emphasize that just because I say $100 of risk, that does not mean we necessarily take a loss if it hits that line. In fact, most of our trades will have the loss at minus three times risk. All of these things are taught in the Stock Scores Trader Training course called the Active Trader course. And I, you know, you have to take that to understand how all of these things work. I'm trying to give you the quick overview so that you can understand how Active Live works. All right, so that is the concept of reward for risk and a basic concept of how the trading strategy works. We are looking for action candles that surprise the market. In this case, Nobody cared about the stock. It was pretty boring. And then it gapped up on the open and it made an action candle shortly after the open. That was the buy signal. You had over 10 minutes to take an entry in that trade. It did not move that quickly, but ultimately it went for quite a run moving from, you know, roughly $22.5 to $26 in a few hours. Now moving along, we also do this for shorts. A short is how you make money from a stock going lower. And we use the same concept, look for an action candle breaking from a predictive pattern. So that's something called a descending triangle. There's the action candle. And this stock went down very sharply, earning 14 times the risk. So if you short sold this stock, which is how you make money from stocks going lower, it made 14 times the risk which means if you risked $100, it made $1,400. Now the signals come up on this screen. This is my analysis screen in Active Live, and this is what you are watching via webinar. It is real time. This screen is on my computer in my office, and I am broadcasting this screen to any subscriber of Active Live. And what you will see is the signals come up along with an alert when they do come up. So let me explain some of the columns. So first we have the symbol column. That's right here. That's the stock symbol. The last price. 
This is the important one. This is the time of the action candle. So 1222 means that the action candle triggered at 1222 p.m. Eastern time. The entry price, which is the close of that two minute candle, was $3.60. For $100 of risk, that trade required $3,996 of capital. That's before margin. And you can typically margin these stocks three to one, which means your broker will loan you two thirds of the amount and you have to put up one third. So whatever amount you see there, you can divide it by three for the actual amount of capital that was required. The number of shares to be bought for $100 of risk is in this column. So for that trade, it was 1,110 shares. And then we show the actual performance in real time and so that will be changing throughout the day. Whatever number you see there is the RR. So for rig it was earning four times risk. The trade signaled at 1210. I took this screen capture at 1222 which means 12 minutes later it was making four times the risk amount. Most of these trades will play out over at least a couple of hours and sometimes the entire trading day. Now then we have drawdown, which is how much the stock went down in reward for risk terms. We have the max RR, which is how much it went up after the entry signal, again, in reward for risk terms. And then we have some indicators that we use within the active live service. They measure how abnormal the stock is, the higher the number, the more abnormal it was on the entry candle. And we look at number of trades and whether the stock made a large gap up or not that day. So that's how that window works. Now that window is kind of replicated in four places. This is the longs. These are the buy opportunities. These are the shorts. On the day that I did this screen capture, there were not very many shorts because the market was moving up. These are what I call my alpha picks. These are the stocks that I find that are examples of good trade setups. It's not every good one. It's just some of them that I call out. Remember during the day, I will call out some of those trades in addition to you watching the signals as they come through, I'll try to help you a little bit, particularly in the first half an hour where I will say DIN is a good alpha setup. These are my sort of my best picks. And I'll teach you how to make those picks yourself so that you can simply look at these symbols and know but I have a lot of people that are new in this service every month. I'm trying to teach them and that's what the alpha list is all about. And then this box over here is the swing trade box. So swing trades are longer term trades. Notice here it says the interval is 13 minute. That is a 13 minute action candle instead of a two minute action candle. And we use those for longer term swing trading strategies. Now for any subscriber to the service, when you log in, I highly recommend that you spend a few days just watching because this is not a normal day trading chat room. This is something much more sophisticated, really much better, but it does take some time to learn. And so you really should just watch for the first little while, listen, ask questions, you will get it within a few days. Then the final thing that we have down here is the actual chart of the S&P 500. ETF on a two minute interval and we follow that because it determines whether we should be focusing on longs or shorts and in this particular day it was a long day because we were up for the day and we were trending higher. If it was a down day trending lower or even an up day that then reverses and starts to trend down that is the time when we look at shorts. Now on your screen when you are watching this as a webinar you will also have this little dashboard where you can ask questions to me. And so you type in your question there. Uh, you can have your audio turned on or off so that you can hear a little audibles when these alert boxes pop up in the bottom right hand corner. Some people are doing other things during the trading day. They may be actually working at their normal job and they just want to hear an audible alert when there is a new action candle and that's how that works. Now on the dashboard there's also a little um, camera button which you don't see on this screen but normally you would and you can click on that camera button to take a picture of the screen in case you want to 
look at it later. So we also track the data. Each day I take every stock that triggers an active live day trader signal. It's all driven by a computer. There's no human judgment in this. And I put that all into a big spreadsheet. We then um, add in sort of a market trend component on whether we should be looking at buys or shorts. And I am advising on this or helping you with this through the day. And we can also improve performance by actually inspecting the chart to see if it has those characteristics of alpha stocks, which are predictive chart patterns. And every day in Active Live, I am teaching you what to look for. So when you start out, expect that there's going to be some learning required. Take your time, learn. The market's here every day. There is no rush. I am trying each and every day to provide some instruction on how to identify the very best opportunities that are signaled from the day trader algorithm. Now this is what the data spreadsheet looks like, or at least one tab on it. This is kind of a daily summary. And so it shows how many picks there were in each time interval. So on March 24th, from 9.30 till 10, there were 32 valid trades. They averaged a max RR of 2.42. By the end of the day, they averaged 0.39 they made a total of 12 RR. That means if you risked $100 on each trade before slippage and commissions, you'd be making 12 times that or about $1,200. Now, slippage will eat away at your profits. I find it's about 20% reduction. So if you wanted to know, well, how many trades were there between one o'clock and 1.30? There were 10 valid trades. They earned a total of 17.85. Their average profit per trade was 1.79 RR and the average max was 3.67. This is the long side and this is the short side. Now remember, some days are long days where we're mostly buying. Some days are short days when we are mostly short selling. March 24th was a mostly long day. In order to register for StockScores, uh, StockScores Active Live, very simple. Go to the stockscores.com website, go to stock scores analysis, active live trading. You have to have an account set up on stock scores first. And from the active live trading menu, you will be able to register for that. If there is a prerequisite, it will say so on the screen. Most of the time it is required that you are a student of the active trader course that you have completed that course. There are times when I open it up to a broader range of stock scores users where they don't have to take the course, where they don't have to have that prerequisite, just as a way to showcase what we do. But most of the time, you have to have completed the Active Trader course. And you will know because on that screen, it will say whether it is required that you have the Active Trader course or whether it is required that you simply have a free membership to stock scores. Now, once you register, you will get an email immediately, which will have your login information for the daily trading webinar. If you do not get that email immediately, check your spam junk folder because that's where it landed. And if you still didn't get it immediately, email me, tylerb at stockscores.com is my email address, tylerb at stockscores.com, and I will try to help you get logged in. Don't wait until five minutes before the market opens to get that login information. If you want some more information on Stock Scores courses, just go to the Stock Scores website, Trader Training area. Again, if you go to the website, you can go to Trader Training, learn how to trade, and you will see there some information on the Stock Scores courses. And that can be very important if it is the prerequisite month when you have to have that course. And you can see here the difference. So for example, here when I'm doing this video for April 2020, I am opening it up for non-members. And therefore, it is only required that you have a free membership. The cost is $295 for non-members. For members, if you slide the way down here, you can see that it is required that you are an active trader member and the cost is $195 for that member or for that trading month. It is, in my opinion, the best value on my website. The amount that you will learn 
the signals that you will find and just the opportunities that is identified by this algorithmic process is really um, excellent. And so I hope that you will at least take a chance at trying it out on one of those months when you can try it without having the prerequisite. And if you are a Stock Scores Active Trader member, it is the really the, the best way to put what you've learned in the Active Trader course to work. Here is my contact information, email tylerb at stockscores.com. You can follow me on Twitter at stockscores. And make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. There you see the address, youtube.com slash stockscores.com or just go to YouTube and do a search for stock scores. Subscribe, I upload new videos, free content every week. It really is a great way to learn and uh, get some of my expertise from the past 30 years of trading. Hope that you've enjoyed this video. I hope that I'll see you on Active Live soon. And as always, trade well.